Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet, and in today's video, we're going to be creating a personal Kanban board using Zinnia. Now, if you're not familiar with what Kanban is, I'll give you a little bit of a background. Kanban actually derives from two Japanese words, kan meaning sign and ban meaning board. And in the 1600s, these were used in the streets of the Japanese markets to grab attention. And their overall goal is to clearly communicate something. Now, these ideas were used in the 1940s by Taichi Ono. Now, he became the machine shop manager at Toyota, and this actually allowed him to start experimenting with these new tools and principles of work organization. And the idea is only to produce what is needed when it's needed to reduce waste. Now, he did this by attaching Kanban cards to new cars. And whenever those cars were then sold, that Kanban card would come back, and that was the only time when a new car would be created. Then between 2003 and 2008, the software industry started to pick up on similar Kanban theories and practices. And then past 2010, Kanban became more established in different workplaces and even at home. So what we're going to do today is create our own Kanban board for yourself to help you organize your work. Now the first thing we'll do is create a new page and I'm actually going to start with a dot grid here to use these dot grids to help me line up some of the elements on the page. We'll go ahead and tap on the type tool and give this a name and I'm just going to call this my Kanban board. I'll go ahead and tap the A so we can go ahead and increase the font to make this into a headline. And then we'll go ahead and start adding our columns. So the way Kanban works, the easiest, briefest way, is that it works by moving items to the right. You start on the left with a backlog and this is where all of your starter items or ideas begin. You'll prioritize them inside of the backlog, whether you do it on a weekly or a monthly basis. And then as you are actively picking these items out, you'll move them over into your doing column. And this is for work in progress. These are things that you're actively working on. And when you're done with all of those tasks that are associated with that, then you'll move them over to the far right. And this will be our done column. Now to create these columns, I'm going to go ahead into the search bar and just type in line. And then I'll find a divider here and then turn it vertically and just copy it and move it over. And then we'll go ahead and have our three main columns. Now that I have everything in place, I'm actually going to lock all of these items. So I'll just hold down and activate the lasso tool encapsulate everything in the circle, group it, and then click lock. And that way, as I'm moving things around, as I'm actively using this, those items are not going to move. So next, what I need are sticky notes. So I'm actually going to go into text boxes, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom, and there's an entire sticky note section inside of here. Now, the reason I like to use sticky notes is they're kind of a classic way of using Kanban. When you're in a physical space, sticky notes are the easiest way to briefly write your topic, put them into your backlog, discuss them as a team, and then pick which items you're going to start working on and move them over. So we're going to take on the same general concept with our own. We're going to go ahead and type in the main topic of the thing that we need to do. In this case, the first item is going to be a personal item for home, and it's going to be to fix the deck. I'll go ahead and copy and paste that and I'll just reuse the same color sticky for organization. And the next one I'm going to do is paint the bathroom. I'll go in and just update some of the styling so I can read it okay. Now what I'm gonna do is actually use a different color sticky note and I'm going to decide to use my Kanban for personal and then I'm also going to use it for work to keep myself on track. So for this one, I'm just gonna put a top level note and this one is to start my September report presentation. Whenever I'm creating any type of cards, I always like to go back and just update the formatting to make sure that it works for the space. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this one and put another task that I have to do. And for this one, I'm gonna put to start my end of year review. Before I get started, I'm going to go into the page settings and just change my background to blank page. Now the way that Kanban works is I'll prioritize these items each week and move whichever ones I'm actively going to be working on over into doing. Now you can also do this on a daily basis. So let's say that later on I find out that fixing my deck is a higher priority than painting the bathroom, then I'm going to switch those. I'll move paint the bathroom back to my backlog and then move what I'm gonna be actively working on, fixing the deck into doing. 
Now, as the week is going on, I'm working on multiple things at the same time. So the September report moves to done. I then prioritize my end of year review, move that over to doing, finish that early, maybe move that over to done, which gives me more time to work on my other two items. And then once they're all complete, we'll move them over into the done column. Now, as you're working, you're going to be adding other items to your backlog. But let's just say we're going to prioritize these pages month to month and go back to them. So I'll go ahead and add an August title on here. I'll go out and I'll actually duplicate this page. And then I'll come in and change August to September. And that way, what I'll do for myself inside of this notebook is just track my month to month what I did. I can either take the cards that are already here and reuse them or something you can do because it's Zinnia and there's a lot of great options is get rid of them and maybe use a different color note card for yourself, different style, different colors. Having have both used traditional and digital Kanban, you can really see the value that building something like this for yourself inside of Zinnia brings. First of all, you can take this anywhere with you and you don't have to worry about having the proper setup in your home for this because it's all right here on your tablet. Also, you never have to worry about these stickies falling off the walls as they will do inside of a normal traditional setup. And then of course, you don't have to throw anything away. Everything is reusable, it's all digital and creates zero waste for yourself. All right, and there we have it, a digital Kanban board set up in Zinnia.